And so now I want to get some more information onto my course cards here. The last thing I did is I had Claude build up these course cards for all of my courses by taking the HTML out of my author profile here. It did that really well. I did some spot checks and it looks good. So now I'm going to have ChatGPT do the next thing because it can actually browse the web. What I want it to do here, if I come back to the catalog, if I click on learn more, this takes me to the course. I want it to grab the description of the course and see if it can put that into the JSON object. And I want to start off by just having it do that for one course, see if it does it right, and then I'll move on to the rest. So if I come out to Z and grab that one course here, the very first one, I want it to grab this description. So let's come out here and let's say, so basically I need you to update my JSON object for my course. Can you add the description by browsing to the web page that is linked? Let's just see what it does. This is GPT-40 mini, by the way. I'm hoping this will be faster. Let's ask it to keep it compact. And so keep it one line compact and I want you to go do it for me. You can't visit pages. All right, what do I have to use? 4.0 to do this? Let's try again. So it's not helpful, no. Can I not? Yeah, I can regenerate this now. Okay, so I guess 4.0 mini can't visit pages currently. All right, you still didn't do it, but did it just make this up? Oh, wait a minute, does it have part of it? Did it grab it from somewhere else? Is the description here? No. Did it just like change the description for me? I don't feel like that's the actual description. I'm gonna take this here and I wanna go look on the page here and see if this is anywhere inside of here. Is it in here? Okay, wait a minute, it's got part of it. So what did it grab here? Which part did it grab? Maybe it's close to right. Okay, no, actually it did grab part of it. Tired of building and deploying software manually, but it didn't grab that part. It didn't grab the first part of it. Um, missed, which was the, this part right here. There are obviously multiple descriptions. Okay, keep it on one line. All right, let's just see how it did here. Let's paste that over the top of the existing course. Missed the comma on the end, that's fine. And let's just make sure this loads. Okay, yeah, there you go. Is that exactly, it seems to have more of a description than was what is actually showing in Pluralsight, which is perfectly fine. There must be some part of this page that has the rest of this description here. I'm wondering where that part is at so I can see which one I want or I can guide which one I want here. Let's look in the page for this. That's weird. All right, it is not seeing that. It's almost like it summarized this description right here, the actual description. Okay, well, whatever, that works well enough. I think that would be perfectly fine, actually. So now that it can do one, let's do that for five more courses. So let's come over here and see if we can get it to help us be lazy on the next five. These five right here. And I'll put some space around it so I know which ones I grab. See if it'll actually go do it. Probably only gonna do the first one, is my guess. Will it actually go back out? Oh my God. Is it actually doing it? Except I want them all in one block. Wait, 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 how many is it doing now? Okay, fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them, put them all in one code block so I can copy them. Come on, man. Give me a break here. I guess I'll actually be happy enough with the description so long as it's somewhat accurate. I don't need it to be exactly what I had. Let's copy that, come over here, take these five lines and paste it over the top. Looks like I need that trailing comma again. It keeps forgetting that I should tell it that. And come back here. Let's just refresh here. All right, there you go. Got a description. So let's see. Yeah, this actually is my description right here. All right, I want it to keep going. So let's see how much abuse can we give ChatGPT? Can I have it do? I'm. I'm hesitant to have it do the rest of these. How about we just take 10 and see how it does here? It might freak out. Do these now. Again, all in one block. This is actually working out well. As long as it doesn't shit a brick here. I'm surprised because what I thought would be a problem is that it would have to browse to each page. And so there's like 10 pages here it'd have to go browse to. And I thought it might actually just choke after one browse session. But no, it looks like it's actually working. This is incredible. So once this gets done, if this works, I'm actually going to take and just copy the rest 
and do all of it like a big 30 long block here. All right, so copy that. Now be careful if you're following along with something like this. It might at some point ask you to continue. It might stop in the middle if it's a lot of work. Just hit continue and it should resume. Sometimes I'll leave a little bit of an issue in the stuff that you're copying if it's one giant block, but um, just want you to know about that. So let's replace this part here. And I should have told it about the trailing comma. Let's do this. Let's take the rest of these, which should be about, what do we got here? 24 lines. And these, please. Now I'll actually ask nice. All right, it's doing it. So, well, you can see the pause there when it's actually going out and browsing. It must be browsing in between each one, which makes 100% sense. So you can kind of see that pause in between each. Anyways, the purpose of doing this is I wanted to show you, I had a hunch this would actually work. I haven't tried it out yet, but my hunch was correct. I just want to show you that there are some tasks that would take you a lot of time to do by hand in terms of extracting data. Much easier to just have ChatGPT do it for you. Or I had a previous video about Claude doing something like this, though Claude, as far as I'm aware, can't do any browsing the web yet. At some point, it'll have tool use like that, but totally cool to have it browse the web, scrape data for you. Uh, probably the next thing I wish it would have is some ability to actually control my browser. I'd like it to have tool use to control my browser. And yeah, here you can go. I have to continue generating here and you can see it'll pick up right here, hopefully. Now there might be a little bit of an issue there, but I'll fix it later on. Yeah, it looks like it actually said, here's the JSON for the updated data. Is it starting over again? Ah, oh, shit, man. Okay, well, it got a bunch of them. What I'll do is I'll copy the ones that it gave me and then I'll have it fix the one that didn't work. I'll wait for this to complete though before I do anything. So. What I was trying to say is I would like it to have a tool use at some point where it can not only browse the web, but it can actually browse the web with my browser so I can authenticate to a site and get to private pages that it can't otherwise get to. Because actually some of these, it shouldn't have been able to visit the page because the pages are not available publicly for some of my courses that are older for whatever reason, if I've updated them, the older page or not updated, I think if they're retired, so yeah, a lot of the updated ones, the retired courses, for whatever reason, stop showing publicly. So some of these descriptions are not real. It'll be interesting to go through these and see what they look like, but most of them it should be able to get. And what I'd like it to do, those ones that are actually private, if it could browse the web with my browser, it could actually grab the titles and descriptions for those, or just the descriptions in this case, it could grab those from my private session that's pre-authenticated. So at some point, I hope it gets some feature like that. All right, it looks like it crapped out at about the exact same spot as before. So. SQL Server continuous delivery of Flyaway. We'll start at that point again here in a moment. For now, I'll copy everything up to the last one from the initial batch here. Usually continuing works, but in this case it didn't. I think I went through confident coding, right? Yeah, okay, so now we'll take these two and have it do these two again. Oh, now it asked me to continue again, but I didn't have it continue again. That's fine, have it do those two. One thing I'm curious about the made up descriptions, I believe it was this one right here or this one. Well, this one shouldn't be available. No. Yeah. Llamas Ahoy. So I guess it just made this up. Let's just see what it says. I almost wondered if it did it based on the description for edition two. It probably came up with the description for edition one. Hey, and that actually would work because if it's a prior edition, the same description should mostly apply. So. I'm fine with that, actually. I just wanted a little blurb here for people to see. And most of the time, this is the blurb that I actually wrote. All right, so let's come back and get those last two here. Copy that. Come over here, paste that. So maybe it would have been a good idea to only do about 10 at a time. Did it get, oh my God, it got the trailing comma on the, co oh, that's because I copied halfway through its response. Um, yeah, I might recommend doing about 10 at a time or 15 at a time. But think about how much work it would have been for me to go to each of those pages grab the description wherever that was at. Maybe I would have had to write some JavaScript to find the description element and extract its text and then come back and paste it into the description field for that JSON object and then move on to the next one. That would not have been very much fun. It would have been a lot, a lot more time than what I just did here, even though I had to break this down into chunks. All right, so you tell me, what do you think of this feature? Is this something that you find useful? Have you done something like this before? Is there something else I should be aware of that I could get the chatbots to do for me? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for interesting new use cases. I think this is an area where you can really save a lot of time.